Hello and welcome. In the previous video, we have uh, refactor our code, and in this video, we are going to study our refactor code a little bit and understand that how it follows SRP. So this is our palindrome counter, uh, and this is our sentence splitter, and this is our palindrome checker, and this is all about our new architecture, uh, which we said that it follows SRP. Now all of these classes have got single responsibility or a single reason to change. For example, if you want to count specific palindrome words, let's say the palindrome words which start only from S, then we would only be required to change this class over here in the if clause. And we can also observe that if input sentence starts to contain leading or trialing spaces or white spaces or punctuation marks tomorrow, then we would have to come over here in sentence splitter and make a logic change over here. And we can also observe that if we want to change the way of determining a palindrome, let's say if uh, we don't have to bother about the case sensitivity, or let's say there is uh, other set of requirement which says that the words in the sentence are also containing accented characters then we would need to come over here in palindrome checker and make a logic change so i'm not going to make those logic changes corresponding to these requirements because my intention is not to show you that how this logic would change uh, when the requirement changes but my intention is actually to show you this very fact that when these uh, requirement changes happen then we would be required to change these classes one more thing that we have observed is we saw that uh, our palindrome counter at first uh, whatever code we wrote we saw that it was containing three responsibilities and corresponding to those three responsibilities uh, it had three reasons to change so generally speaking if you write a class which has got n responsibilities then it would have n reasons to change and this will actually be a violation of SRP because SRP says that a class should contain a single responsibility and it should have a single reason to change. So with this example, we have also seen that if you make a class to have only just one logic, then it would have automatically a single reason to change. And by the way, what will be that single reason for that class to change? Uh, the answer to that is that it will only change if the requirement corresponding to the functionality which that class addresses changes tomorrow. Thank you very much.